Hold on. Am I? Hold on. Oh, wow. No sound. Okay. Hold on. Give me a second. You guys can hear me now, though? Can you hear me? Am I good? Sounds better? Okay. We should be good. Okay. Can you guys hear me now? Am I good to go? Am I all right? Are we here? We're here. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. So, uh, sorry for the delay. Listen, guys, throw it in the chat. Throw it in the chat. If you have ever thought about starting a podcast, wanted to start a podcast, people keep telling you, yo, you need to start a podcast. Uh, throw it in the chat real quick because um, I'm going to convince you today. Just apple juice, guys. Nothing, nothing to see here. All right. Uh, here we go. My objective is to get you to start a podcast, and I'm going to give you a few reasons, okay? It's very, very important um, that we get something going, especially I know you guys see what's happening in the podcast space. There has never been this many people starting any type of business or, or anything really, um, where the desire was so heavy for people to be heard. And it started, I believe with the pandemic and uh, people were inside and they're like, Hey, I, I'm at home and I want to listen to voices. And then we hear, and then Clubhouse goes crazy, right? Clubhouse is super lit. Um, I'm so tempted to take your course. I only have one thing holding me back. What is that one thing, KN? Let's just put her in. Okay, give me the... You're so tempted to take the course. It's only one thing holding me back. And by the end of this, I'm going to teach you how you can get my course that will teach you how to uh, really start, grow, and scale a podcast for only 79 bucks. okay? All right, cool. All right, let's jump into it. Do and, and okay, before we get into that, give me one reason why you have not started a podcast just yet. If, for those that have been thinking about it, for those that have been thinking about it every day, give me your reason in the chat why you haven't started yet. I like to hear that. I like to hear that. Just throw it in the chat. Why haven't you started yet? Throw it in the chat. Throw it in the chat. I know you want to. I know I know you've been thinking through this thing. And it's time. Who's going to listen? Okay, Brittany, I see you. Who's going to listen? Okay. It's saturated already. Okay. I like that, Nate. The honesty. Okay, I honestly procrastinate way too much. Jamila, you guys are being honest, and I like that. I like that. Let's just jump into this thing, okay? I'm autistic and I'm ashamed of it. Man, listen, you better start that podcast. There's so many people that struggle with whatever you struggle with and people want to hear that. Fear and not trusting my consistency. Okay, getting guests. All right, I got you, baby. I got you. Okay, how do you scale to get listeners to make it profitable? Okay, you're scared. Uh, Nayeta, okay. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, cool. Um, I want to first say, that all of the things that we just discussed are simply in your head. It's it's just in your head, right? Um, but there are answers to your problem. Your problem is you haven't started, you wanna do something, but you haven't done it. That is a problem, but for every problem, there is a solution. For every situation that you're scared to do, there's someone that can help you not be so afraid. Okay, hopefully I'll be that guy. I don't have anything super expensive to sell you guys at the end of this, uh, this, but this is me just creating more content in a space. And I will teach on what I'm doing later. I'll teach on what I'm doing later. Let me do what I'm doing. I set up a whole studio in my studio. Like it's like a, it's a bunch of studios in here, but I created this room right here specifically for one reason. And I will teach you why I'm doing that and how you can do the same, okay? Maybe not today, but just continue to follow the journey, okay? I don't have a whole lot to sell you today, but my objective is to get more people to start their podcast, okay? So here we go. The first reason you, you personally, you need to start your podcast is to be a better communicator slash an authority, okay? You need, a better, you need to be a better communicator. Starting a podcast will help you increase your ability to communicate an idea and it helps you become an authority in whatever it is that you're talking about. Why? Because you have to pick a topic 
every single week and be able to communicate that idea. Now, the good news is when you first start your podcast, nobody's listening. That's the good news. The bad news is it's possible to stay that way. But the good news is you don't have to stay that way. Okay. When you first start, this is good news that no one's going to be listening because it allows you to work on your ability to communicate an idea without a big audience. Is it easier to sing in front of a crowd of 3,000 or in your shower? Throw it in the chat. Is it easier to just like, I'm talking about first time you jump up, start singing crowd of 3,000 or in your shower? No, I don't know how many people be in y'all shower. But we already know the answer to that, right? Okay, I, another interesting question. Do you sound better in the shower or on stage? Who sounds better on stage than they do in their shower? No human being. <laughs> I know. I sound amazing in the shower. I I should have been the fifth member of 112 or on Black Street or something. Like I, and I never understood how come nobody really recognized my my ability to sing, and I don't know why. I don't know why my voice sounds a lot better in the shower, but it just does. But I think my voice truly does sound better in the shower than it does in front of a crowd of people. Why? Because I'm more confident in the shower, and I'm more confident because no one's listening. It's no one to be embarrassed in front of. I'm asking you to start a podcast so you can start working on your ability to communicate an idea effectively. And by the time someone starts listening, you're, you'll already be good. So think about this. Let's say, for instance, you are going to start a podcast on uh, the journey of the single mother. Now, there's a bunch of stuff that you have in your head in terms of becoming a uh, uh uh, a conversationalist around this topic. There's a bunch of stuff you could talk about. The journey of the single mother. You are a single mother and you have kids. One of the things I know you think about is who is going to take me? Okay, maybe not who is going to take me. Let me put it a different way. There are some mothers that are focused on how, uh, I, I, I have two obstacles. One, I have to like the person, but here's the conundrum. What if I like them, but I don't like how they interact with my children? That is a conversation. Okay, maybe that's not the big thing. Maybe it's um, my, my, uh, my, my, my trust level between my past and who I decide to work with in the future. All great topics, am I right? Any single mothers that are listening to this? Just throw it in the chat. Am I right? Am I? Are these conversations? Are these topics that maybe you have with your girlfriends that y'all cry on the phone or y'all have these empowerment sessions or you got to encourage somebody else that's going through this? Are these conversations that need to be had? Okay. Seeing as though this is a conversation that needs to be had, the good news is you don't have to be an expert. But you do have to start, meaning you need to get some of your homegirls together, get y'all some wine, and y'all start having conversations around it. And you put it out. There's not going to be a lot of people listening other than the people that you feel like that you can help with this conversation, you send it to them. You never know. That one person might send it to 10 people. Those 10 people might send it to 10 people. And now you have a following because we have this conversation around the things that people need. We need this conversation, but it's not even about the people just yet. I'm talking about you. Imagine every single week you're having the same conversation around the same topic and you're digging up more conversation around this same topic and you're finding more people to help you talk about and truly communicate this idea around this particular topic. When you start talking, you will be one of the most intelligent people in the world around talking about this topic. As you continue to get better, your audience grows, but your audience doesn't grow when you're not good yet. That means we can just start right now. 
You need to start a podcast so that you can be a better communicator around an idea. It helps you start to grow your authority. Does that make sense? If this is making sense, just put a 100 in the chat. I just want to know if it's making sense to you. Just throw a 100 in the chat. Listen, where else can you discuss a given topic for 30 to 90 minutes on a regular basis? The barbershop, but you got to pay to be there. I mean... You, you have these conversations around your friends, but how often do you get around your friends just to talk about stuff that you like to talk about? How often? And, and, you, and you get to create the narrative. Like, for I, I'm telling you, if you were to start a podcast, not to be a career podcaster, but to be a better communicator, I dare to say this will be a, a way better training than Toastmasters or any, any speaker training that you can find. If you can do this every single week, you will become an amazing orator and you'll be held as an authority. Meaning, yo, you're gathering all these conversations that you're having every single week around this one topic. So when you start to communicate it, oh my gosh, you sound like a genius. You're brilliant. Believe it or not, as you start having these conversations, people will start to invite you to talk about the depth of knowledge that you have at their conferences, at their events, at their gatherings. Do y'all make, is this making sense? Is this making sense? You say, yes, we do it on the phone, but imagine being intentional. Imagine building a bigger audience, allowing you to work on your ability to community. I'm not, I'm not saying you need to start a podcast because there's millions of dollars in it, which it is, however, that is not my objective in this first point. I believe you need to start a podcast because you need to work on your ability to be a communicator and you become an automatic authority in conversation. All right, so if you got number one, read it back to me. What was number one? What is the number one reason, and this is in, in any order, but what is the number one reason for my presentation on why you need to start a podcast? Throw it in the chat. I just gotta make sure people are listening because I don't wanna start talking to myself. I don't want to start talking to myself. Uh, okay, what is the number one reason? What is the number one reason we need to start a podcast? Okay, okay. We got to start somewhere. Absolutely, absolutely. Legacy inspired podcast. I'm telling you, I'm going to keep, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to give you all the other reasons, but we got to, I, I need y'all to talk to me. Okay, communication. Good, good, good. Communi better communicate. Better communicate. Good. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, all right. Hey, do me a favor. We got, um, over 100 people in here. Everybody just give me a little thumbs up real quick. Give me a little thumbs up real quick. Y'all can even share this link out with somebody. Just copy and paste this link. Share it with somebody. Share it with a group. Share it with a Facebook group. Share it with your friends. It'll be valuable. Here's number two. Let's go. Number two. Number two, why you need to start a podcast is for the income. Now, outside of the obvious, I'm going to give you some of the obvious, and I guess they're somewhat not obvious. I'm going to give you the real play. Here's the real play. Let me give you the obvious first. There is money in podcasting. The reason I know it is one, I make money myself. Two, I have students that make money. Three, I have people that went through my course, they started and they make money. Because as you build an audience, you will always be able to monetize it if you know what you're doing. And I, I do teach people how to, like wh what to do. And I, I'm, I'm talking about clients and stuff like that, but my, my intention is not to sell you on like no coaching or nothing like that. I'm not gonna offer you any coaching today, okay? But I feel really, really passionate about this industry and I've seen it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Some people make a million dollars. Some people make five figures a month. Some people make a couple hundred dollars a month. But either way, there is income in podcasting. Why? Because people are looking for podcasts to listen to. Anytime there is an industry where people are looking for people in that industry, you know you have something. You know you're early. It is not saturated. Why? Because people aren't stuck on their favorite podcast just yet. People are always looking for new podcasts. They're looking for new things to listen to, new perspectives, new ideas. Some people just love, like myself, I just love talk radio. Yo, I flip through, if I, like when I'm listening to the radio, I flip through the radio stations not to find the radio station that's playing music, but to find the radio station that's not playing music. I want to hear the voices. 
I want to hear what people have to say. I just love a good conversation. But this is a this is an industry that it is growing leaps and bounds. It, it is not growing. It's still a baby. To answer somebody's question, they said podcasting is saturated. Listen to me. The reason I know podcasting isn't saturated, the reason I know it's very important to start a podcast now is because it's an unregulated industry. Podcasting is the wild, wild west. Believe it or not, nobody knows what they're doing. Not even me. Nobody knows what they're doing. We're all trying stuff. We're all trying. We're all like... We're all trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work. Let me give you a perspective. Let me give you something to think about. If I upload, if I upload a three minute song to Spotify and I don't know, I get a thousand streams or 10,000 streams, I would make money. Not only would I make money, the person who made the beat makes money. Not only the person that makes the beat makes money, but the person who wrote it, the person that performed it, the producer, there are automatic splits. Music is regulated. If I upload a three-minute song, one three-minute song to Spotify, I will get paid. You will get paid. Am I right? I'm not making this up. Whoever up, Listen, you upload a song to Spotify or Apple Music, you get paid. You have to. It's the law. But guess what? Every single week, I upload hours of content to my podcast. If I had to calculate it, I upload probably about four hours a week to Spotify. Guess how much Spotify pays me? And I'm uploading four hours every single week. Guess how much Spotify pays me? Zero. They pay me nothing. Apple Podcasts pays me nothing iHeart Music pays nothing. I was signing up for iHeart Music, and this is the one time I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the, um, what's it called? The the policies and procedures, like the contract. I didn't just scroll down and hit I accept or I agree. But in the contract with iHeart, it shows that iHeart can, when you upload that podcast to their platform, they have the right to run ads in your podcast and not have to give you a dime. No matter how many streams you get, they don't have to pay you anything. Isn't that interesting? If I upload a three minute song, one three minute song, I get paid. I upload four hours of content every single week and I don't get a dime. Why? Because podcasting is not regulated yet. I'm uploading way more content than these people. Listen, I'm probably, I'm probably getting way more downloads total than your favorites are than some of your favorite artists. Why? Because I'm uploading so much content. So I'm probably getting more downloads than some of your favorite artists. Look at all the hours of content. Listen, maybe not downloads, but for sure listening time. So if I get a million downloads a month, that means Everybody, the average person is listening to my podcast for 20 minutes. If your favorite artist gets 5 million downloads, that means they listen to five, three minutes, 5 million times. If I get a million downloads, I have a million people that listen for 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. I'm just, I'm just saying. It's not saturated. It's an unregulated industry. That's how I know we're super early. Now, in the event that there's, they start putting parameters around podcasting, that is when it is going to start to be regulated. It will be increasingly difficult to get in the game. Trust me. Okay? Okay. Somebody put a real good question. How does this lead to income? Oh, I, I thought you'd never ask, Pierre. Pierre, I, I thought you'd never ask, bro. Here we go. Here we go. Let's talk about how we make income. Okay. Cause the reason you need to start a podcast is for income. I'm going to give you some of the obvious, but then I'm going to give you one that's not so obvious that I really want you to pay attention to. So one is ads. As you continue to build an audience, there are 
advertisers, people like me and all these other entrepreneurs that are listening to us right now, where they want to get in front of an audience. I paid two podcasters in the last 30 days to be an advertiser on their show. So they go on there and they read. Why? Because they have an audience. Not even as big an audience as I do, but every audience has some sort of value. For my entrepreneurs that are here, let's say you have a product that you sell for $200. You getting in front of 100 people, what is that worth to you? If you can get in front of 100 people and do your little pitch on why the people that need you, need you, what is that worth to you? Throw it in the chat. Throw it in every, every audience has value. Even if it's 100 people, 100 people have, have, have value. Listen to the podcast. There are some podcasts that aren't that good or aren't that dope or aren't, they don't have a, they're not that popular, but you will hear ads in it. And every time you hear an ad, that means somebody got paid. Now, Spotify or Apple Podcasts is not the person that's paying. It's the advertising companies who have the relationship with the, the distribution platforms that put ads in the show and the people who do that, they have to pay you. So I don't, I don't, I don't want to go like deep into it. Actually, um, I'll tell you guys how you can get my, my podcast course for 79 bucks and get to talk to me every single day, uh, all for 79 bucks, but I'll explain that later. But there are ads. Every, every audience has some value. So you're saying, Dave, I don't get a million. I'm telling you, if you get a hundred, there's some value. There's somebody that will pay to get in front of that hundred people. Also, we can do a Patreon subscription. So there's a bunch of different paywalls, right? Where you might have a message. Let's just say for single mothers, we were talking about that earlier. For single mothers, your podcast is to help people in that particular space, right? Well, you can create a Patreon, which is a group of people who just want to support and you can do it for $5 a month, $5 a month. you got a hundred people. That's $500 a month that are just coming to support. And the way you do it is okay. In my podcast, the distribution platforms, they're going to put ads in my podcast. So it misses the, it ruins the listening experience. But on the other hand, if you join my Patreon for $5, I will give you ad free listening. Hey, you rock with me, right? Maybe you're just doing it to support. Maybe there's a cause that I'm selling because I'm giving out this message and there will be some people that will show you some love. Why? Because we have a, we have a, a, a message and now we're just asking for support. But if you didn't have the podcast, you wouldn't be able to really set up the Patreon because you wouldn't have anything for people to support. At least you're offering some sort of value in exchange for the message as you're working on your ability to communicate. All right. So ads, Patreon subscriptions, you can sell your own product. I believe if you're an entrepreneur and you already have a business, you already have a product or service that you're selling, you create the podcast and you record your own ads and you put your own ads in the podcast. So you're talking about whatever you talk about, but in the middle of it, you're saying, hey guys, this is David. I want to tell y'all a little bit of something about my morning meetup group. The morning meetup is the only organization that gathers every single day with, this, with a community of hundreds of entrepreneurs. You will get to talk to high level entrepreneurs, connect with entrepreneurs that are on your same level in your same city. We have an app that is, that is connecting people. Inside this app, there is a podcast course. Normally sells for $2,000, but in this app, you get it just as a part of the membership. It's $79 a month, $3.99 for the year. Join the morning meetup, themorningmeetup.com. This is me putting an ad in my own podcast, and it costs me nothing to advertise the business that I have already. Okay. I get it. So as Patreon subscription, selling your own podcast, there's actually nine different ways that I come up with on, uh, on monetizing, but let me give you this one. I appreciate you. Jay Hill, my man, Jay Hill's in the building. He helped me set up my studio. He was in the building. Uh, let me tell you one. Let me tell you a play that not many people are going to tell you. You need to start a podcast for income. This is still number two, but as you see, there is an influx of people who want to start podcasts. Here's the game. 
if you start your own podcast and you learn how to set up the cameras, you learn the lighting, you learn how to upload it to, uh, to the podcast distribution platforms, you learn how to like make sure it's a good show. You're listening to like, you know how to edit some audio or something like, and, and, and I learned all this stuff by just starting and using it on YouTube. Check this out. If you start your own podcast, you will be able to teach people how to start their own podcast. Even if you're not successful. There's a clicking interference sound. Really? Y'all hear something? There's a clicking sound. Oh my gosh. I never thought about it. Um, somebody said that there's a clicking sound. Are y'all having a hard time hearing me or am I clear? I thought it was just me. Oh no, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I have no idea. It's been doing that the whole time. Goodness gracious. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Yes, I hear. Oh, hold on. Let me try to turn this down. Yeah, it's like a metronome. I have no idea what a metronome is, but let me see something. Is it still there? Let me know. Yes, I'm clear. I'm clear. Yeah, I thought it was just, <laughs> it just started. Yes, there's a subtle though. Is this better? Is this better? I turned it down a little bit. So hopefully, um, no, turn it back up. Turn it back up. Okay. Bro, I don't even know what a metronome is. You clear, but it's a little noise. Uh, record player, but not distracting. Let me see something real quick. Wow. Okay. How's that? Is that better? Somehow. <laughs> Somehow. Okay. Am I good? Am I good to go? Definitely thought it was just me. Oh. Why y'all ain't tell me? Why y'all ain't told your boy? Let me see something real quick. Oh, man. I apologize. Is it better? Is it better now? It's better. Still there. We good. Remove your phone by the road cat. Okay, I'm going to put my phone over there. <laughs> it's all good. It's louder since you up the volume, but we can hear you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I hate that. Oh, gosh. I really do hate that. I'm sorry. All right, let me, um, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to try something, though. Let me see. Bow. Bow. So I just, uh, I, I have this new setup. And um, hold on, let's try this. How's this? Is that better? How's that? That might be better. We might be good to go. Okay. All right, cool. Um, okay, I think we're good. Okay, it's not bad. Okay, I'm just going to keep going, then I will fix it. We have a new studio set up, and I'm trying to... Maybe I'll unplug that and unplug that thing too. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's keep going. All right, let's keep going. Okay. Oh, I forgot where I was. Sorry. Uh, okay. All right, here we go. Where were we? Okay, yes. There is a booming industry of people who want to start podcasts. I'm asking you to start your podcast. It's lower, an hour lower. You're lower. Okay, keep pushing. Okay. Um, there are, there are, there's an influx of people who want to start a podcast, okay? If you start your podcast, you get to be the person that doesn't have to fight in the war, but you are selling the guns. You are selling the bullets. You are selling the gear, you're selling the helmets for other people to go to war. And there are people that make money by not going to war, but by selling the, 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 the weapons for other people to go to war. Okay. Does this make sense? This makes sense? If it makes sense, just say this makes sense. If it makes sense, just say it makes sense. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> no idea. What that joint is. Okay. Uh, when I figure it out, I will definitely, I'll do a whole nother video. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do another video. That's how I usually come from CPU peaking, another audio software open in the background. I don't even got nothing else going on. All right, cool. We're going to keep going. I think. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Off. Hold on. Maybe hey, that's it. it. All right, let me know if that works. Okay, okay. Number, number three, three. We, gotta we gotta go, go. We, gotta we gotta go. go. 
We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. Let's keep going. Number three. Number three. Networking. Networking. Number three. Networking. You want to start a podcast because you said it's echoing. Ignore the sound. It's not bad. Okay. Turn that off. What do I do? Oh. Off. <laughs> Yo, I got this new system. I got this new little audio system. And we are trying to work. Is that better? <laughs> yeah, y'all are really, y'all are helping me out. Bad Echo Dave. Okay, is it bad? Is it bad? Now we can't hear you. You can't hear me at all? You're good now? I'm good now. Okay, sorry. Live on your phone and check it out. Okay. You're good. I'm so I'm good now. Okay. I know this is this is a terrible experience. <laughs> this is a terrible uh, uh, YouTube experience right now. Okay, better. Okay, let's keep going. All right. The third reason you need to start a podcast is for networking purposes. Believe it or not, believe it or not, there are very few people that get to tell their story. And believe it or not, a lot of people would love to. A lot of people would love to tell their story. Okay, there are some people, there, there are some people that um, a, uh, uh, that I meet, and when I see them in the, when I see them in the, in the, like in the streets, they're like, hey, Dave, man, I love your podcast. I'm like, yo, I appreciate you loving my podcast. I really, really do appreciate the fact that you listen to my podcast. It makes me feel good. Thank you. And then they say something like, yo, let's take a picture. And then we take a picture. And then they leave. But there was a there was one young man that said, hey, Dave, man, I love your podcast, bro. And I'm like, yo, thank you. I appreciate the love, man. Thank you for, like, supporting the show. Thank you for listening and tapping in. Ignore the click sound. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, I, this is terrible. Golly, I hate the fact audio. Oh, hold on. I might have something here. We might have something here. Hold on. Use echo can echo cancellation. Okay. All right. Boop, boop. How's that? Is that better? I just did some stuff. I don't know if that helped, but I just did some. I just did some uh some clicking around in this thing and uh it might have worked. Did that work? Is that good? Okay, better communicate. Okay. Okay, oh, so do the recap. Do the recap and then I'll keep I'll keep on. Better? Okay. All right, cool. All right, so just don't tell me about a click or sound and then I won't be distracted and just hit me in the DM like, yo, Dave, that joint was terrible. You're bugging. Okay. Oh, I got it. It worked. I knew, okay, I found, I found it, y'all, that's what I'm talking about, okay, and there is a, there's gonna be, there's a, gonna be some people who are gonna pay me for the thing that I just learned, <laughs> turn up the sound a little, okay, I, listen, I'm listening to y'all, man, I'm with y'all, let's go, I'm gonna turn up, the, I'm gonna pump up the volume a little bit, okay, let's get going, okay, now that I know what we doing, now that I know what we doing, bang, we about to go audio up a little bit, Okay, bet, bang. Oh, let's go. Okay, how I sound? Am I, am, I, am I good now? Am I louder? Are we here? Turn your volume up. Do not touch another thing. <laughs> yeah, he said, do not touch another thing. Okay. All right, we good. <laughs> oh, I'm good, good. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Okay. All right, so. Quick recap, quick recap, quick recap on why you need to start a podcast. One, it will help you become a better communicator. Why? Because you have to pick a topic and discuss it on a regular basis. The more you discuss a topic, your depth of knowledge in that thing gets better. And then you continue to become known as the person who knows more about this one thing than anybody else, thus becoming an authority. So you need to start a podcast, not for all the money you're going to make, but to be a better communicator and an authority. Number two, for all the income. 
There's a bunch of ways to monetize a podcast. One, you can just ask people for the money to advertise in front of your audience. You find somebody who has a product that fits your audience prototype and you ask them to put, tell them I have your audience. And it doesn't matter. I don't care if you're charging $20, $30, $100 for an advertising slot in your podcast. Either way, it doesn't matter. You can ask for the money. They got they got uh, paywalls like Patreon where people will just support and you can sell your own products by putting ads into your own product. Number three, I mean, no, back to number two on the income. It's so important to learn how to, to, to shoot a podcast because there are so many people that want to start a podcast. And for those that want to start a podcast, if you have one, you can charge people for teaching them how to set up their podcast. Even if you're not a good podcaster yourself, at least you know how to set someone up for success. There are people who make billions of dollars by selling the books to the teachers that teach the kids. They're not saying I'm the best teacher in the world, but I created the book that allows you to teach, meaning you create the system or the setup for podcasters to set up their own podcast and they go out and do the work. Golly, I'm running out of time because I got to get, uh, I got to get back. I got to get back. Okay. Number three, networking. There was a young man, like within the same week, young man, I see him in an airport. He says, yo, I love your podcast. He takes a picture with me. I'm like, yo, that's dope. He leaves. I leave. He tags me. I reshare it. Yo, I appreciate the support. Thank you so much for tuning into the podcast. There was another young man, however, who said, yo, Dave, I love your podcast. I have a podcast myself and I talk about this specific topic. Can you jump on my podcast? Guess what I said to this 18 year old boy? I said, absolutely. I jump on this podcast. We have this conversation. It's a really good po conversation. He's not that good of a podcaster, not that good of a question asker. However, we began to build a relationship. And now when I see him, I'm asking him how his podcast is and I'm mentoring him on podcasting. Why? Because we were able to build a relationship through his podcast. It wasn't about the person that just wants to take a picture with their favorite person. At least you have something to ask the people that you admire. Or if there's some people that you want to get next to, you just ask them to interview them. Believe it or not, there are people that you want to get next to that nobody asks them to be on their podcast because nobody cares about their story. At least this shows the people that you admire that you care about them. Whew, you can build a brand. Listen, you can build a brand around being an expert at something, but check this out. You don't even have to be the expert. There are some people out here, they start a podcast around the thing that they don't know or the thing that they desire to learn. Meaning there are people who can start a podcast based on learning entrepreneurship. They go to a successful entrepreneur and say, hey, I wanna learn entrepreneurship. I'm not an authority in entrepreneurship, but there are people like me that would love to hear your story. Will you come on my show and teach me and my audience what you know about business? I guarantee it becomes the dopest networking tool and, and you actually will end up with mentorship because you're interested in someone who is successful, okay? Number four, because I gotta go, I got seven minutes. Rock with me for seven minutes. We're almost done. We're almost done. Number four, easy content creation. It is probably the easiest way to create content starting a podcast. It's so simple. Why? Because you do the work one time, you record the podcast, and then you take that podcast and you cut out clips from that podcast and post it on social media. It's the easiest thing in the world. You do, the, you do the thing one time. You're talking for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, however long, and then you take the whole thing, you find something cool to pull out of it, you take that 60 to 90 seconds, you post it on Instagram as a reel, you take 60 seconds, you post it on YouTube as a short, and you're taking the same content from the same thing that you did one time, but it looks like you are a content creator around the same messaging. Isn't that cool? Easy content creation. All right. Number five, number five reason you should start a podcast is that the next wave of celebrities will be voices. 
The next wave of celebrities will be voices. Do y'all see what's happening here? Tell me you see it. Tell me you see what's happening in the podcasting space. Why? Listen, I remember, I remember once upon a time, if you were downloading the Spotify app, the Spotify app was a music app. Is your YouTube audio podcast? Yes, absolutely. Uh, you would go to download the Spotify app and it said music app. But now when you go to the app store, and you download Spotify, guess what it says? Music and podcasting. Music and podcasting. Spotify wants to be known for music and podcasting. They are spending hundreds of millions of dollars acquiring podcasts. Now, why in the world would Spotify do that? Why is it that The Breakfast Club, which is a radio show, is also one of the top podcasts? Why is it that every, every like company, like it seems like companies are opening up podcasting departments? Why is that? Why is that? Why do why 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 do celebrities why are celeb every celebrity starting a podcast now? Why is it why is it that athletes after they're done playing basketball or football or baseball they start podcasts? Why why is why is that? Do y'all not see what's happening? No, you don't see it. You, listen, for the last one hundred years. Most advertising has gone into radio, but it just, we, we just turned the corner where podcast advertising, just the advertising itself is now a billion dollar industry. Uh, over a billion dollars went into advertising in 2022. Why is that? Do you not see what's happening? The world is leaning into a direction because the next wave of celebrities will be voices, people who have something to say. We've gone far too long without any voices. Okay, when's the last time we've had a voice of the generation? Somebody just, just throw it in the chat. Just give me, last time we had a voice of the generation. A voice that spoke for us, and I don't know what us is for you, but when's the last time we had a celebrity speaking on behalf of a people? Anybody? No? I'm just waiting for Martin Luther King or Malcolm X to come up. I'm just, Nipsey made great music. I don't know if he was the voice of us. Tupac made great music. Tupac was a revolutionary for sure. He made great music. We saw him pivoting to having something to say, but okay. Listen, if, if when Martin Luther King died, a whole country, a whole world mourned. A whole world mourned when a rapper dies we play their music it's sad it's sad but we play their music we feel like we lose a leader why because there were powerful voices but we haven't had it in a long time we haven't had a voice in a long time that's going to lead a people why because it's all been entertainment for like the last since I've been alive, past 40 years, we've only looked up to entertainers. Listen, in the 80s, it was singers. A bunch of singers would come together like them voices, golly. And those become like the voices of a people, right? The singers, 80s and 90s, it was kind of rappers and sports figures. We all wanted to be rappers and sports singers. That was, you talk to a kid in the 80s or 90s, they wanted to hoop play ball, or be a rapper, 80s and 90s, 90s and 2000s. Same story, 
rappers, sports figures. Two th late later in two thousands, we want to like we're looking up to like the, the 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 aspiration. We start seeing our tech founders. And th listen, there was a dot com boom where everybody's racing to create a software. Everyone's racing to create a software. Farrakhan, for sure. We got one. I got one. Right. So, uh, for sure, bro. Yes. Okay. Let me, let me, uh, highlight this one. Eric Thomas. Absolutely. I truly believe, I truly believe Eric Thomas is a root reason of all of the podcasts and voices today. He made it cool to have something to say with a hat on and a sweatshirt and a hoodie and a t-shirt. He made it cool. I can argue that. Very few voices, but now, but now, 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 think about this. Everybody wants to have a voice. Everybody. We see athletes, we see everybody starting a podcast. Why? Because the next celebrity will be people that other people listen to, not just watch, shoot a basketball. Not just listen to music. I'm telling you. I think now is the time to start because the next wave of celebrities will be voices. And I know I'm going to be one of them. I know you are going to be one of them, but it is, it is time to start now getting your voice out there. Listen, I'll do, I'm going to do another video about this podcasting space. And uh, I will tell you how I feel like I got lucky in podcasting right place right time stuff i'll share that with you in our next video here's what i like you to do here's what i like you to do td jakes for sure if it wasn't in the confines of the church i believe td jakes i got oh I, got, I gotta go listen i am i'm not here to sell you like a course or anything like that right however um i want to give everybody my course to start a podcast now um, how much would you pay to have a program that helps you start a podcast? Just real quick, throw it in the chat real quick. Whatever you come up with, I promise you, I'm not going to charge you that. I don't think, I don't think. So I have a course, it's $2,000. I'm not selling you my course, right? But I have a community that I would love for you to be a part of. It's called the morning meetup. I literally am on a call with hundreds of entrepreneurs every single day. Every single day. I'm on a call with entrepreneurs. And I'm teaching all the stuff that I'm talking about today. See, there's some people that are in the morning meetup right now that um, they're like, dang, this is dope, but this is Dave every day. So I'm talking every single day. What I was selling my course for $2,000, but what I decided to do was I didn't want to be a course creator. I wanted to be a community builder. So my podcasting course is actually in the morning meetup for absolutely free. Now, being in the morning meetup, you will talk to me every single day and I can guarantee if you're listening to me and my successful friends every day, there will be life change for you because you're sitting on an island. It's just you. Where would you go to meet hundreds of entrepreneurs every single day. Hmm? This is my first week. Oh, come on, man. Testimony. Listen, I, listen, this is one thing that I ain't got to like high. I ain't got to sell nobody nothing to hide. Any platform I'm on, there's somebody's going to be like, yo, that morning meetup is crazy. So the morning meetup is $79 a month. You cancel any time or $3.99 for the year. So for the whole year, you could be in the morning meetup. Just go to themorningmeetup.com. Somebody put the chat in. Somebody put the the uh, the link in the morning. Somebody put the link in the chat, themorningmeetup.com, themorningmeetup.com. But, okay, so my course is in there, and I have a content creation course in there, but it's free. You don't have to pay anything, right? But the value is I want you to connect with other entrepreneurs and all of the people in the morning meetup. We have like a 1,000 people in the morning meetup. All of these people in the morning meetup are going to be the next 
interviewers, the people that are going to be on your podcast, the people that are going to support your business, the people that you are going to connect with. Yes. Come on, Naya. We got a book club. Come on. It's all community. This, this is one time I feel really, really confident selling people something because I know it is amazing. I joined last week. Hold on. Ah, pay for the year so I can continue to get the value. Come on. Deal with the hill. Come on. E. James Podcast. Get it going. Get it going. Somebody put themorningmeetup.com in the chat for me real quick so I can. All right, cool. Morning Meetup and Social Proof. I love it. Being in the morning meetup is motivational. Yes. I joined on Black Friday. Absolutely. I love y'all. Okay, I'll put it in there myself. I got to get my daughter home. www.themorningmeetup.com dot com. So I am uh, I, I'm probably going to be doing a, a series on content creation. We're going to focus on content creation um, next month, I believe. We'll focus on content creation. So every single day we're focused on that particular conversation because we got to start the year off being able to create. So um, go to themorningmeetup.com. As soon as you log in, just go into, I believe it's like courses or whatever, and take that podcast course, okay? Because you need to start your podcast. I will be doing a lot more content around, uh, uh, a lot more content around uh, podcasting and content creation. And actually tomorrow is Thursday, so we'll be doing q and I will be live on there, Q&A, answering your questions, all right? So I love you all. I got to get home. Make sure y'all share this with somebody. Make sure you share this with somebody, okay? TheMorningMeetup.com, and I will see y'all in the morning meetup. Peace.